We come seeking Christ. Let us journey in God's word. Let us pray. Lord, as we, as we look through your word, as we seek you in our journey towards Christmas, Lord, bless this time of devotion together as we come into this day, as we reflect upon this day in its purpose and in your calling within it, Lord, help us to see uh, this journey in you. Help us to see our path together and our, our individual journey of faith as well. Lord, you call each one of us and all of us together. And in all these things, we seek for your presence. In all of our life together, we look to one another to sense your presence in one another. And Lord, we thank you for those who have, who have represented you well to us, where we have journeyed with them in truth, and Lord, where we have been challenged by that truth to journey better ourselves in you. Lord, we pray for those who are struggling, who have been presented with false images of, of your love, who have been caught up in the, in the camp of this, this seasonal celebration, Lord, that are caught up with the, the false images of Christmas. Lord, as much as we enjoy the festivities and the fun, Lord, there are those things which detract and distract. Lord, help us to seek for you and to follow you rightly, to rejoice in you as those who journeyed through wilderness, as jo those who came in from the hillside, as the townsfolk that surrounded you and rejoice together at your birth. Lord, let us share in that celebration. In Christ we pray, amen. And so we read in the prophet, from pro the prophet Hosea, who said, when Israel was a child, and then I loved him and called my son out of Egypt. Such a line, it's, it's transcendent. A lot of us, a lot of people aren't aware just how much Israel was in and out of Egypt from the time of Abraham until the time of Christ and onward. The, the Israelites, the Jews, were back and forth out of Egypt on a fairly regular basis. Not only were they trading partners, but they were so much cultural partners attached in ways of, of exchanges of culture and reading and wisdom and knowledge. Books were coming back and forth and it's hard to imagine that being such a day and age of books, but libraries were being built all over the world in this time. And so for Israel to come up out of Egypt in the time of Hosea, yes, we're looking at the time of persecution and exile. We're looking at a time of redefinition of themselves as a people. And they might have looked to the future and Hosea looking to where God was leading them would have understood that so much comes out of Egypt to define who Israel is. But there's something more profound in this. And these become the resounding words that as... Jesus' parents, Mary and Joseph, sought for refuge. They were driven to Egypt, this place of security in a time of persecution in their own land. And as it had been at other times for God's people, it was the place of refuge that they needed. And so it came to be that, yes, the Messiah, the, the Son of Man, the Son of God, the Son of Israel, came out of Egypt, was of Nazareth, and all these things together were true. Born in Bethlehem. The answer to so much in prophecy, and we've explored that these past number of weeks through all our devotions, that Jesus is the fulfillment. That he came out of Egypt to make complete all the times that God's people would come in and out of Egypt, seeking refuge, seeking freedom. That they might find in him perfect refuge and freedom forever. God bless and keep you.